we found the relic of the lost Cronin. Dorklair! Welcome to another Dorklair action figure review. Today I'm taking a look at the Cosmic Legion's Tusk Science Officer test shot from Four Horsemen Studios. Huge shout out to Dan Briggs, aka the Cubicle Collector on Instagram, who loaned me this figure. And not only did he loan me this figure, but he did give me permission to do a little pop and swap action. So stay tuned for that later in the video. Anyway, this is the science officer, one of three Legion builders in the wave. It has this alternate head sculpt, a whole bunch of accessories, a really cool figure. This one's going to be, I think it's going to be sort of whites and blues. And then this alternate head sculpt here is going to be sort of like a purplish color, like a light purple. But yeah, Tusk Science Officer. Let's get into this review. Okay, as always, starting off with a nice close shot of all that sculpture. And again, when we have a test shot like this, we can really focus on all the lines in the sculpture and not on the paint. Although this figure won't have a ton of paint. This being a Legion Builder will be mostly a white color. But uh, tons and tons of intricately sculpted little details throughout this spaceman alien cosmic character right here i love this helmet sculpt and as you saw in the beginning it's got sort of a, a interior part there and i'm kind of wondering like is this actually a helmet even though it's like the same shape the same general shape as the alien i almost wonder if this is like an android drone you know how like the Geonosians designed the battle droids to kind of look like insects a little bit. Maybe it's like these guys designed this droid or android or whatever to look like itself um, because it doesn't quite look like a helmet, right? It looks like tech inside there. And then we have the backpack piece here, which is removable. And like I said, Dan gave me permission. So I will definitely be trying some swaps here with that thing. The chest piece here, I think it's glued in, but I think the torso is relatively the same as some of the other figures' torsos, and so I'm guessing that this part might be modular, at least on the factory end, where they can put different chest ones on the front, because I feel like there's different... I feel like this same chest on other figures has a different emblem or, you know, circular piece on the front there. And then very similar to Mythic Legions, he's got the sort of soft rubbery belt that pops on in between the torso and the hips. Similar to Vorga, he also has the boom boom hole cover as it's known in the Legion's community, which is essentially like an armor piece to cover his butt right there. And then getting down into the legs. The legs and the arms are where you're going to see reuse typically on these guys. And then he's got the lower legs that kick back and then the boots that don't have the split toe or anything like that. So... Very cool, cool looking figure right here. And again, this is a Legion Builder. So I think it was initially on pre-order. It was 25. The standard retail price will be like 40, I think, or maybe 45. And this is of the two that are very similar looking. This is the one that has sort of the whites and blues as its general color scheme. Next up, getting a look at accessories. He does have the rifle with a ton of really sharp lines and little tech details throughout scope on top and it does have the one port for the the little like uh, adapter pieces which i'll show in a minute and then he's got a pair of the pistols the sidearm type weapons here these are great so kind of have a dual wielding and they have the holes on opposite sides so that you can have them hanging on his hips the way i showed it at the beginning of the video i already showed the alternate head sculpt right here and here's another look closely at that thing this is going to be purple and the eyes are going to be green i believe he has like the little hologram heads up piece that will be in a transparent plastic that is the same as the cronin so i almost imagine there's like a search for this relic it's called the relic of the lost cronin and like this is you know somebody with a clue sending a message like we found the relic of the lost cronin and then the next accessory we have is the dome right here that fits on perfectly and then so this will obviously be like a clear plastic and then that pops off there and then this piece can come right off uh, like this and so that you can have him unhelmeted just like that. And I like how they included all the little details in that dome piece. So nice. Just 
amazing attention to detail. And then it does have four adapter pieces, so two short ones and two long ones. And I'll kind of pop those on to show. So like, for example, these here, you can pop it on his side and then you can stick the pistol on his side like this. Um, I think there's probably one. Yeah, this. so this one on his back, you could potentially put that here and maybe store his rifle on his back like this. I'm not sure if that's the best place for the rifle, but you know, something like this. Um, and just kind of like gear up your guy. And then also I thought I would show how this one fits here. This, uh, this little heads up display right here. So like he's, this will be, uh, you know, translucent plastic and then he'll be like, like he's looking at a readout right there. So very cool little adapter pieces and sort of like this modular system that they're doing. I think it's going to make for a lot of fun, not just from four horsemen, but also from customizers making things that can attach to those parts. He also comes with a whole bunch of different hands with various types of grips over here. Okay, for comparisons, I thought it would be fun to do it with the dome on, and with it on, he sits right under 7 inches. And first up, we have a couple other Cosmic Legions test shots. First up, Oleg Thygar Grave Ring version on the left. Thank you to Eric Miller for lending me that figure. Check out my review of that one as well. And on the right, we have Vorga. Next up, we've got a couple Mythic Legions 1.0 style figures. On the left is Zazar Stock, and on the right is a kit bash of the Furious Four figures. A couple other lines, a Masterverse Zodak on the left and a Mezco Craig on the right. Here we have a Mezco Predator on the left and a Storm Collectibles Gears of War Kate Diaz on the right. A couple smaller ones on the left is an Action Force Kit Bashed Swarm Trooper and on the right is a Marvel Legends Green Goblin Retro figure. And finally, my favorite adopted member of Cosmic Legions, NECA Alf. For articulation, the head is on a ball joint and it can cock side to side and it can twist all the way around. There's also a twist below at the neck, but the ball joint can twist as well and that's how that looks pretty cool looking neck piece right there that i didn't show earlier the hinge on the shoulder will be a little bit limited by the backpack it's also got a swivel you have single jointed elbows twist at the gauntlet twist at the wrist as well this particular wrist has a vertical hinge but there's uh different wrists with different directional hinges you've got the um ball joint at the waist that can give them a lot of range this one's pretty loose, but a lot of these test shots are kind of like that. Remember, these are not final products. They are still going through revisions in the, um, you know, the finalizing process with the plastics. Uh, one limitation in the articulation is he's not going to kick forward very well because there's this static piece in the crotch area that limits things. I don't know if that's removable, and I'm not going to probably try to remove it because it's not my figure. But there we have a single jointed knee. Over here, there is a twist below the knee. There is an ankle rocker and a hinge as well in that ankle. Overall, if you've ever messed around with a Mythic Legions figure, you kind of get a sense of what the articulation is here. And out of curiosity, here's a quick look at the science officer without the backpack piece on there. So you get a good look at the overall shape of this body with the core parts, just like the torso itself and the arms and just kind of how this whole thing looks. And the back is a little flat. It's a little like, I don't know, indented, I think just to kind of make room for the backpack. But other than that, I think it's a pretty cool look. And then I wanted to do a couple head swaps just so you can see how this body looks with some other heads on there. First up, here's the Lost Cronin. I think this looks awesome. When I had put it on Vorga, it looked big, but on this body, I think this head sculpt makes a lot of sense. So there's the Lost Cronin skull. Speaking of Vorga, I think her head looks pretty awesome on here as well. And then one Mythic Legion's head, we have Zazar's head sculpt on there. And one quick kit bash here. This is the genius idea of Dan Briggs himself, who said, you got to try putting that backpack on an unarmored Mythic Legion's torso. And it actually fits pretty well. Like, I think this is intended to work. So space orcs, as Dan is hoping for, um, I mean, any kind of like bare chested crazy thing you want to do with your space guys i think it's going to be a pretty good mix and match opportunity here so there's zazar with the space armor on and until next time may the force be with you